Hi guys, this is Linda. Hope y'all are having a good day. I'm kind of calling this Gandhiism. <clears throat> um, I'm a peaceful person. And I want a peaceful resolve to everything that's happening in this empire system. And that's what I've always called it, is the empire system. It's not just happening in the continent of North America, or North America but it's happening in almost every continent on the earth and we are as a human race connected to one another now the reason I'm calling this Gandhiism is because I've seen a lot of people and I'm not going to disrespect these people um, saying actually using citing Gandhi as what the way we should be following things um, I have some thoughts on this and um, because we know for a fact that they erase history and um, they've done movies on Gandhi and, and man, you could put him up there with, um, shoot, Jesus Christ or, you know, some of these people. He was so perfect in the movies and, and have you really ever read his book or any of his quotes? Um, he was a, a pacifist at the end because he actually had no alternative. Um, so you're probably getting angry at me now but I'd like to read something from his book okay um, and I'll leave this link and this is just a little bit of it you'd have to go purchase the book because he does tell a story in his book where um, he was almost killed in Africa and he um, his son he wasn't but his son his son you know asked his father next time it's happening should I defend you and Gandhi said yes Son said with violence, he said, whatever it takes. So, but now people say that was the European Gandhi. So, this would have been the young Gandhi before he went to India, his homeland. So, he went to India, and what he found there was just a horrible situation. His people, there, uh, there had been an act passed um, a long time ago by the British that um, native Indians of India could not own arms nor could they have a military for that matter. Um, so he went to see a country of people who lived in conditions that are horrible. They were starving. They drank dirty water. They worked sometimes 18 hours a day. They um, were living in substandard housing, you may say, um, and paying very high rents and actually had nothing, nothing. So um, he was disturbed by this. Now, he did lead a pacifist movement, and a lot of people were killed in this pacifist movement. Uh, men were beaten, women were left widows. Um, the British Army fired upon women and children in, in a few locations, and um, that actually turned the tide in his benefit because there was media there who who liked what Gandhi was doing, and if it wouldn't have been for the media, nobody would have known. I don't think a whole lot has changed in India at this time, though, seeing that um, <clears throat> the people he didn't like, um, the imperialists, the, the British colonial rule, the Americans, <clears throat> the Zionists, he did not like them either, um, are still there. We've got, what? Monsanto they're pushing that down their throats and they're trying to ban it and and we're now experimenting giving them vaccinations and and the women are having you know things done to them that they would have never done before and I don't even think Gandhi would have stood for any of this I'm going to read something to you real quick Gandhi's own words not mine um, in his book <clears throat> On nonviolence. During a prayer speech on June 16, 1947, this is 1947, um, if we had the atom bomb, we would have used it against the British. This was in Gandhi's The Last Phrase, Volume 2, page 326. He also said, Among the many misdeeds of the British rule in India, history will look upon the act of de depriving a whole nation of arms as the blackest. 
and that's from Gandhi's autobiography. And that is part five, and that would be chapter 27. So this is what I'm saying. Um, he believed that the country should be armed, or at least have an armed military to protect the people. He didn't want to see the people suffer under this passive resistance and get shot and beat. Um, as he said, if they would have had the atom bomb, they would have used it. Now, I'm not promoting this in any way. I'm just saying stop using Gandhiism as your way of thinking because I think that they're erasing the truth about Gandhi. Gandhi was a human being just like the rest of us. And he advocated for peace just like the rest of us are. But when, when push comes to shove and you get shoved and you get shoved and you get shoved, you eventually start pushing back. And they did push back, and, it, and, and I'm sure he had a hard time living with all the death he saw from pushing back. I mean, that's why he said he wished his people would have been armed. So, you know, I'm just letting you guys know. There's a little bit about Mahatma Gandhi you might not have known. So, I call this Gandhiism because um, it, it kind of represents of what a lot of people are, are, are saying. They're using Gandhi as a reference. But until you explore what Gandhi really believed, you can't use him as a reference. So, <clears throat> what he did was good because that's the only tool he had. Um, all I'm saying is there may be a peaceful resolve to some of this because we are, um, as a whole, an armed society. And, and, and maybe I'm sending this out to some of the people who don't own guns and think that it's okay because Gandhi did it this way. Well, Gandhi said in, in one of his, you know, speeches, um, if we would have had the atom bomb, we would have used it against the British. I mean, there you go. I mean, there's so much you can take before there there's a stance. You can be bullied for so long. Now, I'm not pushing any kind of violence. I just want you to know where Gandhi stood. I mean, he did the best he could with what he had. And um, there you go. And I love everybody. Peace, love, hope you have a good day. We're having a very windy, cold, wet day here. And, um, but peace and love to everybody. And I just wanted to kind of set the record straight because history is kind of being erased. And a very good friend had pointed this out to me about Gandhi. And I'm just going to say thank you. That person knows who they are. Um, actually, I'm not going to say their name. But anyway, um, Gandhi um, did some very good things. And yes, if one day we have to follow the way he did, we should. But um, right now, let's see, let's see if we can work it out peacefully the way we we are supposed to went under our constitution and I'm talking about just the original 10 constitutional amendments not anything added because that's all fluff for the government really nothing for you and I and that 1871 I don't look at the constitution um, post 1871 because that's the corporate constitution so you guys do know there's two constitutions I hope um, anyway peace and love everybody have a good one